Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. I am Mushroom Juggler, and we are still in Mount Cress's Mountain Temple. And wow, we just one hit KO'd a flute player. Freedan... Why? I... He might be too powerful. And we got the other mush mushroom drops. Mushroom drops. Mushroom, no, mushroom drops. That didn't work. Mushroom droops. I'm, st I'm going to stop talking like that. Whoa, 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 that is all the enemies in this room. Oh, that was... That was nice. I like killing them. They deserve to be killed. They really, really did. They were, they were hurting me. And there's nothing left in here. So do we just... Go back from whence we came? Meaning... This room, right in here. Oh, yes, it does. Mama, ma mushroom power! That is not the way it works. Really, it's not. It is physically impossible for that to happen. It is impossible. For me to pour water, or mushroom drops, on the vine nearest me and have the vine farthest from me grow towards the vine nearest me. What is with this game's logic? What is this game's logic? What logic? And looks like we need another mushroom drop. Turns out I was wrong. There's actually three in this dungeon, if not more. Ah, spiders shooting their webs. Two of them. Huh, even that couldn't beat me. Because Freedom, you know, Freedom's invincible. He can't die. No, really. Literally, he cannot die. I have tried killing him. He ref. Oh. Oh. I didn't even know this was here. Oh god. Life. Oh my god. Life is like a six pack of ale It's It's only the greatest until you have to switch back to Will. So, in that sense, it's nothing like a pack of ale but... Meh, whatever. The Aura Barrier is a dark power that can only be used by Freedan. Use the power of the Aura to put a barrier around you. Use the attack and LR buttons for power. So you're saying he literally is invincible now. I'm testing this out right now. Oh, whoops. Okay. That- that was- meh. That was- okay. Okay, so he might not be invincible, but he's close enough. Freedan- I looked it up in the dictionary. It means invincible. So, yeah. Freedan's invincible. There you go. He can't die. No- oh, he can get hurt. He's immortal, not invincible. There is a difference, honestly. This isn't just me and my craziness this time. He actually, like, I mean, immortality and invincibility are at two separate things. They are not one and the same. Okay? If you're immortal, you can be harmed, you just cannot die. If you are invincible and or invulnerable, you cannot be hurt. 
Like, I'll use a nerdy example for this because that seems to be my forte. Uh, let's say the Starman. Not from Earthbound, from Mario. When Mario collects a Starman, he becomes invincible, meaning he cannot be harmed. However, if he falls down a pit, he dies. But, if he has an infinite supply of 1-ups, he cannot die. Meaning, he is immortal, but he can be hurt no matter how many 1-ups he has. That is my lesson on immortality and invincibility. Thank you, and good night. Not really, but yeah. Yeah, I, I'm. I felt like sharing that. I do not know why. I can't even recall what brought about me saying it. That really shouldn't work. Is this? Oh, it's the other mushroom drop. Hooray! We have nine lives and ninety-nine jewel things. It's like we're going this way. And looks like we're maxed out on lives and jewels. I didn't think you could max out on them. I mean, I guess that's true, because there's not enough space for double digits. Oh, wow. We have infinite life. Freedan is now immortal. Well, okay, he was immortal, but now he's more immortal. I'm just paradoxing myself left and right, and that's the last enemy in here, and I banged my hand on my desk. Ouch. Let's see if we can find where that thing was to use it. Was it over here? No, I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. This place is confuzzling. Down? Hex no, I got Bowser on the ropes. No, not over there either. Dang. I'm going to cut it to where I find that thing again. Up. Oh. Here it is, it was in the room to the south. Silly old me. Oh, I'm such a joker sometimes. Whoa, hey, B B B B B B B B C C C C C I'm just really I don't I don't know what's up with me, honestly. Uh it's three enemies. There's two, three. Alright, that's all of them. Please tell me that's the last of this dungeon. I really am tired of this place. Oh. Cutting it to when I get back up there. Okay. After that little freaking useless crap frack. My word, that was vulgar. Crap frack. I could be using the barrier, but wow, that was pretty. <laughs> I liked that a lot. Ah, I don't like that quite as much. I just want all the enemies to die, really. I like power-ups. There's the last one. I think that might be the way out. Attack power up exactly what Freedan needs and wants. Looks like we're going north. Uh, something key is going to happen, I presume. Like a key item. You found the teapot. Okay. Wasn't there a teapot in Euro? 
Wow. Jeez. Uh, I have to backtrack all the way out of this dungeon, don't I? Well, I'm going to call it here, guys. Next video, we will be in Euro. So, if you like this, subscribe to my videos, uh, check out some other parts, and, uh, rate. Good. Well, nice. Thanks for watching later, guys.